hello friends uh, today in this video i am going to uh, just give some introduction about some basic concepts in chemistry those are atomic number atomic mass molecular mass molarity molality normality most of this information uh, is based on wikipedia which is an open source encyclopedia so next uh, if you see <coughs> uh, this is the periodic table uh, most of you might be aware of this periodic table how the elements are arranged so here uh, the, there are different versions of periodic table which are available in the internet uh, here in wikipedia there is one version which is available if we go to britannica encyclopedia we will get uh, for seven different five to seven different versions of periodic table each version will have uh, different uh, information so the uh, the elements will be arranged mostly the same but the levels of information the categories in which the elements are arranged those things will vary the coloring will vary so those who are interested can uh, collect that information uh, from britannica encyclopedia next uh, we will see about atomic number atomic number or nuclear charge number uh, of a chemical element is the charge number of an atomic nucleus uh, for ordinary nuclei composed of protons and neutrons this is equal to the proton number because neutron has no charge so number of protons found in the nucleus of every atom of that element is what the atomic number is about atomic number can be used to uniquely identify ordinary chemical elements in an ordinary uncharged atom the atomic number is equal to the number of electrons that is the protons equal to the number of electrons uh, next if you see the average atomic mass here we will take the case of hydrogen the atomic number is in periodic table usually the atomic number uh, is on the uh, top the atomic number can also be called the charge number that is the number of protons is written on the is written on the top and the atomic mass is written on the bottom so the atomic mass is 1.008 uh, that is the atomic mass of hydrogen uh, the number of uh, number at the bottom indicates the average atomic mass that is average atomic mass means hydrogen has different isotopes so uh, the average atomic mass is the uh, atomic mass of various isotopes of hydrogen uh, and it is averaged and it is written at the bottom. Uh, that is the unit of the atomic mass is Dalton atomic mass unit or unified atomic mass unit. All the three indicate the same. So atomic mass of hydrogen is 1.008 AMU. So 1 AMU is equal to 1.660540 into 10 power minus 27 kg. Therefore, atomic mass of hydrogen is uh, 1.008 into 1.660540 into 10 power minus 27 kg. That is equal to 1.6738 into 10 power minus 27 kg. So, if we put the kilogram as 10 power 3, we will get uh, the value as 1.6738 into 10 power minus 24 gram. This is uh, the uh, weight of mass of uh, proton. If uh, in chemistry text, it will come like this is the mass of the proton 1.6738 into 10 power minus 24 uh, gram next if we see uh, finding out the number of neutrons how to find out the number of neutrons so in an atom uh, the number of protons equals the number of neutrons uh, in the atomic nuclei isotopes differ in the number of neutrons which is used in the concept of radioactive elements and uh, number of neutrons is equal to mass number minus atomic number uh, so mass number is going to be in the case of calcium here we have taken the case of calcium calcium the atomic number is 20 and the mass number is 40.078 so in case of calcium the number of neutrons is equal to 40.078 minus 20 that is equal to 20 20.078 uh, so since the number uh, cannot be uh, point uh, decimal points it cannot be so we have approximated it to 20 number of neutrons need not equal the number of protons uh, but number of electrons need to be equal to the number of protons in the stable uncharged atom. Uh, next, if you see mole and Avogadro number, uh, mole is the uh, symbol MOL uh, is the unit of measurement for amount of substance, a quantity proportional to the number of elementary entities of a substance. It is a base unit in the international system of units. One mole contains exactly 6.022 1476 into 10 power 23 elementary entities. Approximately that can be written as 6, 6, 6 not to 6 trillion or 6 not to billion times a trillion uh, which can be atoms, molecules, ions or any other particle. 
but it need to be a particle it cannot be a, a, any other thing it need need to be a particle particle is a point uh, particle which uh, which uh, whose numbers uh, whose weight is so negligible uh, such sort of entity is going to be considered a particle and that though that number is going to be one mole is going to contain those many number of uh, particles and the number of particles in a mole uh, is the avogadro number it is indicated by n0 and the numerical value of the avogadro constant na uh, expressed is um, per mole the but it is dimensionless even though uh, how how in in a mole how much you, uh, the uh, value is going to be there that is per mole uh, mole per uh, minus 1 but it is dimensionless dimensionless means uh, it has no mass length time uh, though uh, such entities are not present mole is a mole doesn't come under any sort of dimensions uh, which co could be measured it is just for an expression and uh, molar mass and molecular weight the difference between molar mass and a molecular weight is that mo uh, mole molecular mass is the mass of one specific particle or molecule while the molar mass is an average over many particles or molecules per mole of a substance so molar mass concept can be taken as similar to average atomic mass uh, so uh, whereas uh, molecular molecular weight is an older term as as, as such uh, relative molar mass has come to replace the molecular weight uh, this is as per the wikipedia and it is also a dimensionless quantity uh, ratio of the average mass of one particle an atom or a molecule to one twelfth of the mass of a carbon c12 atom <coughs> all terms have same values but units and usage differ so what are the uh, our terms which we have seen molar mass molecular weight uh, mo and relative molar mass so molar mass is going to be uh, the uh, average uh, of the molar mo mass of the all the molecule the of the mo molecules uh, all the mo particles in the molecule and uh, molecular uh, weight is going to be uh, the weight of the molecule uh, so the molar mass is average and whereas molecular weight is just uh, the weight of the molecule everything all these entities are going to have the same value the value is going to be the same for example if we care if we take h2o that is water final point uh, the in water the molar mass is uh, 2 into 1.008 plus 15.9994 into 1 that is oxygen's uh, atomic mass into one uh, that may so that is equal to 18.0154 gram per mole this is the molar mass of water if you take this uh, what is the molecular weight of uh, water means we will say 15 uh, the uh, molecular weight is also going to be the same thing 18.0154 and uh, really that is that molecular weight value is also going to be the same and if you take uh, if 15 point how how we are going to express uh, how much oxygen is going to be there in uh, water means in that case we will say 15.994 uh, gram of oxygen is present per mole of uh, water so gram per mole in that case so this is how uh, these terms need to be differentiated and understood and next if we go the next level of uh, uh, expressions uh, which are necessary when we go into the molecular compounds are molar uh, like uh, concentrations we have to express the compounds concentrations so three uh, three ways in which the compounds uh, concentration can be expressed uh, molality molarity and normality molarity uh, is going to be the moles of solute by moles of solvent in kilogram so if we compare this molality with molarity which is the second point uh, molarity is going to be the moles of solute per volume of solution in liter so this is volume of solution in liter uh, as a such like uh, solution means it has the sol solute in it so solute plus the solvent that that volume is um, uh, is going to be the volume of the solution so uh, usually solute is uh, not going to have any volume mostly so the volume of uh, solvent only mostly is going to dominate however it is known as a solution so volume of solution in liter and uh, whereas in the first point it is uh, mol moles of solvent in kilogram so kilo it is expressed in kilogram this is in liter 
so where we use this molality term molality is used where uh, the properties while studying the properties of solutions related to vapor pressure and the temperature changes so temperature changes and the vapor pressure means uh, there the little uh, volume is going to differ the volume because uh, vapor pressure is uh, is going to impact the volume and uh, due to temperature the volume might get impacted in those cases we are going to study uh, the concentration per moles of solvent uh, in uh, molarity the second thing case we are going to use uh, it is most commonly used the molarity uh, molarity is going to help us in identifying the concentration of the solution and uh, there are different ways similar thing similar to molarity there are other expressions as well there are one is weight percentage weight percentage is going to be mass of solute divided by mass of solution into 100 the, that is percentage so mass of solute by mass of solution into 100 per, that percentage is going to be weight percentage parts per million is going to be similar to uh, weight percentage except mass of solute by mass of solution into 10 power 6 this is used when in case of very dilute solutions and it is mostly used in environmental engineering and finally if you see normality normality is going to be number of gram or mole equivalents of solute in one liter of solution in chemistry the equivalent concentration or normality of a solution is defined as a molar concentration divided by equivalence factor i just we will see about normality in the next slide so next if you see uh, the normality of the solution uh, normality of the solution is uh, where is where normality of solution is expressed where it is used it is used in case of redox reactions uh, where reduction and oxidation takes place simultaneously uh, and uh, similarly opposites acid based titration precipitation reactions in these cases the normality of a solution is used and uh, uh, the usually in case of titration if you see in high school we would have come across v1 n1 equal to v2 n2 that is normality of the acidic solution uh, normality of the acidic solution is nothing but the number of gram equivalents in one liter of a acidic solution into volume of the acidic solution that is going to equal to normality of the basic solution into uh, volume of the basic solution so how, how we will do is we will have a, a particular volume and we will titer uh, that acid with that base corresponding base and uh, when there is going to be a color change we will add a coloring agent so when there is going to be a, when the acid uh, interacts and uh, when it is neutralized the color there is going to be a color change in that case we will note down the volume and we will say uh, we will find out the based on based on that volume we will find out that normality the so v to the n to second normality we will find out so this is going to uh, this is how we find out the normality of a solution so this normality of the solution initial normality into initial volume is equal to final normality into final volume that is also one way of expressing uh, this normality is going to be equal to number of gram equivalents divided by volume of the solution in liters so number of gram equivalents therefore what is number of gram equivalents number of uh, gram equivalents is nothing but the weight of the solute divided by equivalent weight of the solute so why this number of uh, where this for n1 we have we have, if in case we are going to find out n2 we need to know first initially we need to know n1 so n1 we will find out by using this formula n1 is equal to number of gram equivalents divided by volume of the solution in liters and the number of gram equivalents is going to be weight of the solute uh, in gram divided by equivalent weight of the solute next we will have to see about what is equivalent weight equivalent weight finally uh, in chemistry equivalent weight also known as gram equivalent or equivalent mass is the mass of one equivalent that is the mass of a given substance which will combine with or displace a fixed quantity of another substance that, so, so the equivalent weight of an element is going, uh, going to be uh, which combines or displaces 1.008 gram of hydrogen or 8 grams of oxygen or 35.5 grams of chlorine these values correspond to the atomic weight divided by the usual valence so uh, valence whatever the valency is there so if you are going to divide 16 of for example uh, 16 is the atomic weight of uh, oxygen uh, atomic number uh, atomic number uh, atomic weight of the oxygen so we are going to divide oxygen by 2 because its valence is going to be 2 so we get 8 grams of oxygen 
so um, a sulfuric acid is going to have a molar mass of 98.078 so how we get that 98 uh, gram per mole so how we get that 98.078 gram per mole uh, by multiplying 2 into 1 plus uh, sulfur's atomic weight atomic number uh, plus 4 into 16 so all those things together give, gives us 98.078 uh, gram per mole and uh, it supplies uh, 2 moles of hydrogen ions per mole of sulfuric acid so uh, it's uh, there are two hydrogen ions so its equivalent weight is going to be 98.078 uh, gram per mole divided by two equivalent per moles so the equivalent weight is going to be 49.039 gram per equivalent the use of equivalent weights is in gen general chemistry has largely been superseded by the use of molar masses it is as per the wikipedia and uh, mostly in case of biotechnology and uh, wherever it is uh, we have in less number of times we have come across uh, uh, equivalent weight uh, mostly we uh, molar mass and uh, molecular weight those terms are more mostly used to my knowledge i might be wrong thanks a lot for watching and this is it